humor, and you don't get a very good sense of humor unless you're very comfortable with what you're doing. And Suichi has been a delightful coach, mentor. In fact, we had a run just last week in the NBL together, um, practicing uh, activities that we may have to do if, if something calls upon us to go out and do something, uh, a spacewalk for a contingency. And we worked very, very well together, very comfortable together, and I can't think of anybody else that I'd rather be with laughing and working together. Other questions? All right, um, we'll go to questions from our, uh, on our phone line to KSC. Uh, thank you, this is uh, Todd Halverson of Florida today for uh, Suichi Noguchi. Um, the HTV, of course, is uh, headed toward a docking today at the International Space Station, and I was wondering if you could uh, characterize uh, the importance of that vehicle to the partnership as a supply line uh, in the future? Yeah, thank you very much for asking about uh, our the first ever uh, Japanese uh, uh, spacecraft. And uh, uh, all of the Japanese are excited to see this uh, HTV launched last week. And today is a big day that uh, the station crew will capture the HTV. And uh, all the international partners are responsible for the operation of the International Space Station. Obviously, Russia, USA have a uh, manned space vehicle along with the supplied vehicle. And uh, uh, Japan and uh, Europe have their own uh, uh, supply vehicle now. And, uh, you know, after the space shuttle uh, starting to uh, uh, fade away, uh, we will take our responsibility to bring the stuff uh, up to the space station. So this, I think this is a great way to start our uh, uh, mutual, uh, of course, uh, kind of uh, uh, helping each other to, uh, to make station uh, more operatable. So uh, we are really looking forward to the success of this mission. I believe there's a follow-up. Uh, thank Casey. you very much. If I could have a follow, um, uh, I was curious. Now, with a six-member crew on board, uh, of course, there's more time that can be uh, spent on doing uh, actual research on the International Space Station. And, and for Suichi, I think you're going to be the, the first Japanese astronaut to have an entire increment with the finished uh, Kibo science research facility, and, and I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about the scientific program uh, you have for uh, your increment, and for uh, TJ and Oleg, if you could touch on uh, the various scientific research experiments you all might be doing, uh, that'd be great. Yes, uh, we have uh, uh, various kinds of uh, science experiment to plan for increment. Uh, one of them are medical uh, experiment to uh, to see if we can suppress the bone loss during the long duration stay. And uh, actually Koichi participated in, and Mike Barrett is still continuing on, and I will continue the, the same effort to uh, suppress our bone loss uh, to make our rehabilitation post-flight uh, much easier. Also, we have a couple of uh, the plant uh, uh, growth experiment, and uh, I'm really interested to see those how the plant grows in zero G. And uh, JAXA also proposed a couple of new uh, material science uh, so that the industrial uh, company can uh, benefit from, uh, like uh, making a, a special nanoscale nano structure experiment, which is I think this is the first time on space station, and uh, I'll be happy to see the, the results. And uh, TJ is actually uh, another gem specialist, so uh, he's uh, trained to the full length uh, with me, and uh, so he can tell us some more about uh, how we do the science and space station. The, um, as you can well imagine, as the station matures farther and farther, we end up having answers that are similar from increment to increment, and from a broad uh, brush stroke. We're doing, as Suichi has said, material science and, and bone loss studies and combustion studies. And, um, but let me touch on, on a couple that just come to mind immediately that I think are fascinating. Suichi mentioned the bone loss um, prohibitor experiment that he's engaging in. We're also taking a look at uh, the effect of diet on bone loss. And if because of what you eat, you become more acidic in your system, your system likes to buffer itself by mm, leaching out calcium, which is not a good thing, of course, for bone loss. So we're trying to take a look and see if we can affect that by adjusting the diet. 
Um, another experiment that we're dealing with, and we just got some training on today, are uh, some insect experiments. Um, and if everything goes right for us, and we get the, the payloads up there, we'll be taking a look at uh, how butterflies are adapting to a weightless environment and be able to watch them as they go through their adaptation period. And of course, we've got other experiments that deal with um, the fluid liquid interface for a variety of states to include combustion studies. And we hope that that will come directly applicable and profitable for the folks on the earth as we improve our combustion processes, making them cleaner, making them more efficient. Okay. Any other follow-up questions either on the phone lines or here? Yes. Hi, Robert Perlman with CollectSpace.com again. Uh, for TJ and, and maybe for the others, uh, you mentioned this expedition being inspirational. Uh, one way that uh, your, that prior uh, space station residents have, uh, out, have reached out to the public has been through Twitter. Are you tweeting from the space station? Or if not, what other outreach activities are you doing? And also for your crewmates, what outreach activities do you have planned for uh, reaching out to the um, public in your countries? That's, that's a great question, and I think that kind of contact is very important in order to, <clears throat> to try to spread the inspiration. I have not yet signed up for Twittering. I'm, I'm still trying to get uh, acclimated in, in another environment, but one of the things that we are taking a look at possibly is building a blog. Um, and if that becomes a, a very viable avenue of communication, I'm very interested in, in pursuing that, and especially now as we're getting closer and closer to, uh, to our launch time in December. Uh, so I think, although I have not yet signed up, I think Twitter is, a, is an interesting way to go. Any other questions? Well, then that concludes our Expedition 22 news briefing. For more information on this mission, you can log on to www.nasa.gov. And from now, we'll go straight to HTV, uh, HTV birthing coverage. And thanks for joining us.